What's up everyone? This is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos come in every week. You don't want to miss these videos. In this video today, I'm going to talk about what keeps me going. The road to become a doctor, especially a surgeon, is a very long road. I'm on year number 12 out of 14. That is four years of college, four years of medical school, and six years of surgery training. So, what keeps me going? Stay tuned and uh, I will let you guys know. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about what keeps me going. The road to become a doctor is a very long road. I always tell people to kind of describe it as a marathon, not a race, and you definitely have to take it day by day. But what keeps me going? Some things that I use to motivate me on a daily basis because even as a physician, even as a surgery resident in a prestigious or a, a really competitive program such as orthopedic surgery and then match it into spine surgery, if you guys didn't check out that video, I'll put it right up here about my uh, match into spine surgeon recently. But what keeps me going? Because it, it, it's a long road and I'm not going to lie, there are lots of days that, you know, I even question myself about going into medicine. Um, like, should I be doing this anymore? I got friends out there partying and traveling the world and just living it up. Made, making six figures probably 10 years ago because I finished college uh, in 2007. So people who went to college with me, they've been on this high life for a number of half a decade, it feels like. But, you know, what keeps me going is uh, basically the end goal of becoming a surgeon. Um, sometimes at work, I just basically look around and basically just amaze and I just shake my head in disbelief because I made it so far, especially from my beginnings uh, growing up in Louisiana where I grew up in a really rough background, uh, gr grew up a really rough background and around drugs, around gangs, around violence. Um, I had family members who went to prison. At one point, half of the people in my family, in my immediate family, were in prison. My little brother was in prison, my mom was in prison, and my sister were in prison, all for different reasons. And that was kind of the background that uh, I grew up in. And to get to this point is just amazing. That's the reason why I, I'm so passionate about helping others get to this point because I didn't have someone to lead me in the right direction. I basically had to figure things out on my own and I made a lot of mistakes along the way and I don't want you guys to make the same mistake. So looking at that end goal, becoming a spine surgeon or just a surgeon in general, that's what kind of keeps me up uh, motivated. I kind of keep that, in, keep that in, in mind and keep that in sight because if you lose focus on the reason why you're doing it, um, you're gonna have a hard time because it's such a long time. You have to uh, look back and uh, ask yourself, why did you go down this path in the first place? And my passion was to help people and I love helping people. So, uh, and I love seeing patients get better and people get better. Uh, I'm, I'm a very given person. Uh, that's, that's what I love to do and that's what keeps me going. So you have to find a, speci a specialty that allows you to have some type of gratification. And that's the reason why I like surgery, specifically spine surgery, because when a patient comes in, say for instance, they, they can't walk because of a disc herniation or uh, certain conditions where they're paralyzed and I can operate on them and they're up walking again, either that night or a couple of nights later, say for instance, from a hip fracture. <laughs> That's one of the best feelings in the world. And that's what keeps me going. Is seeing patients uh, get better when they come in and they're at their lowest point of their lives. Um, I'm not sure about you guys, but if you ever have been in a hospital uh, or been sick, it's like one of the, the worst things ever. I wouldn't want to wish that on anybody. So, and I've been sick before to a point that I felt like I was gonna die. So, and I know how patients feel in the hospital because, um, you know, I've been there and I have family members who have been there as well. So the, the ability to do things um, 
and that God has blessed me to use my hands and use my my brain and my head to be able to help someone um, get out of that lowest point of their life. I, I don't think there's any greater feeling than that. And that's the reason why I love being a doctor and that's the reason why, um, that's the reason essentially what keeps me going. So you have to figure out your why and why did you go into it in the first place? In the first place what's your passion? Uh, why did you want to become a doctor? Remember that personal statement that you you wrote um, back when you were applying to medical school. Just keep a copy of that and just constantly um, review that as well because that's going to keep you going. In medical school, I had a, a piece of paper above my desk where I studied like all the time and it said, um, study like someone's life depends on it uh, because someone's life is going to be in your hands one day. So study like it. So that's what kept me going, and that's what kind of still keeps me going. That's what motivates me. I have a lot of people that I look up to as role models, um, and they motivate me to get to the end point, so, which is to become a uh, full-fledged surgeon. So that is my what keeps me going. Comment in the box below. When you're down, when you're out, when you're at the lowest point of your life, when you've been rejected from medical school after medical school, when you got that MCAT score and you didn't get the score that you wanted to, when you didn't get the grade on that test that you studied all night for and you just stayed up all night and just didn't get the right score, what keeps you going? Comment in the box below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. Every week I'll be posting new videos. You don't want to miss these videos. So stay tuned.